The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the January 30th. The Terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I am here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone, dial on in to 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question but you can't call in, we've got you covered. You can go ahead and send me an email. Send that off to Steve at TFNN.com. Inside the subject, and if you'd be good enough to put a radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started for Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. A sea of red as we begin our day. You got the Dow down 31, S&P's off 8, Nasdaq's down 76, Russell's off 17, Gold's up 6 bucks, Silver's down 9 pennies, Lights We Crude up a buck six, uh, buck 78, uh, Lights We uh, Natural Gas off 22 cents, the 30 Treasury, print out 120 and a quarter. Now, leading the charge to the upside, you've got MSCI Inc. up 52 bucks, Super Microcomputer 17 bucks, San Mina Corp 14 bucks, 28% move there, Hubble up 12, that's three or nearly 4%, HubSpot. About 14 bucks or 2%. To the downside, it's Asimil Holdings off 16 bucks. Weatherford International down 14 or 14%. UPS off 12, 8% move there. AD Talum Global Education down 21 bucks or 12%. And Calix Inc. off 12 bucks. That's a 27% move to the downside. So we got some movers and we've got some shakers. But let's begin our day. How are we going to begin our day? Oh, are we going to begin our day? Let's begin our day by taking a look at, um, let's see, uh, ES Mini. Let's, get, I'll just begin our day by switching over and taking a look at the equity future contracts in the daily time frame. So I think that's how we will begin. We'll switch over to our white background charts momentarily, and we'll see the four panel with the ES. The daily time frame is what we're going to begin looking at out here. So we take a look at the ES. In fact, I'll just simply expand them each at a time. Now we're just all focused on the same thing. So what do we see here? When this bottomed, it had a Rhodes Mentum indicator bottom back on October 27th and ATD 9 count pattern out there. Today is likely going to form bar number eight of a TD9 count. It's made, it's it's the high of the pattern so far, so it qualifies as a potential topping signal. In order for this to actually top, tomorrow's close is going to need to be a close above 49.23.25. If that unfolds tomorrow at the close at 5 p.m., then what we'd be looking at out here is a TD9 count top. Now, that pattern would then complete on Thursday. We don't know if it would make a higher high. It doesn't have to, but it can. Now, what price would be targeting would be that oscillator and change line. The oscillator and change line right now is at 49.29, not about 20 points below, less than 20 points below from where we're trading. If price were able to close below that, that would tell us that it's lost its momentum, price has lost its momentum, and that price would then be targeting the next level of support. In the case of the ES Mini, if the move to the downside were only a counter trend move, 
price will find support between 48.27 and 48.41. That's assuming that price actually moves lower, and we've got to get below that oscillator and change line before any of that can come to fruition out there. But that would be the level. Now, if we did see a close below 48.27, that would tell us about a move to 47.16. Now, any of you that are writing those numbers down on a pad of paper, they're valid today. I don't know whether they'll be valid tomorrow or the next day because profile levels can change. But at this stage of the game, we don't have any uh, identification identification of a potential uh, new profile at this stage here. So you've got bar number eight that's going to complete today. We also have a Rhodes momentum indicator signal that needs a bearish reversal candle to confirm that top out there and we also have a wave number seven signal that is present that needs a lower high to confirm so don't need three topping patterns you really only need one out there um, the one that uh, we I don't know which one it is that will take hold but we'll just simply continue to monitor it if we look at the NQ it already has its top in place out there that was formed a few days ago we had a bearish shooting star candle form on the day of January 24th that was confirming a Rhodes momentum indicator top now its overall signal is neutral it's neutral because price pulled back tested support the oscillator and change line Price is still trading above it. But now price is back inside its profile level out there. So is that consolidation between profile support and profile resistance going to continue? I don't know the answer to that question. But a close above 17, 683 would say no. And it would say that price would go likely go after that high, maybe even take it out. But that's not the message as we speak at 11, 12 in the morning. So you still have a top inside of the NQ. We do not have a top just yet inside of the Dow Equity Future contract. It needs to have a spike above yesterday's high, which was 38, 498 today, tomorrow or the next day in order to generate a TD nine count top. Now, that's just one element that it needs to do. Another element would be tomorrow price would need to close above. The close of bar number five, and that close was 38,210. So that's a number to certainly jot down. If, in fact, we get a TD9 count top, then price should pull back and test the first level of support. And the first level of support, since price right now is below the green oscillator and change line, would be the top of its profile. The top of that current profile would take us down to 38,050. So we got the potential for a topping pattern out here in the Dow, but it needs a little bit of work for that TD9 count pattern. We do have a wave number seven pattern that's been established. And if we don't take out yesterday's high, that will confirm a wave number seven top out there. That's the Dow Equity Future contract. The Russell 2000, the Russell 2000 yesterday generated a profile change in trend signal by closing above the top of the profile. It needs to do it for two consecutive sessions. That means you need to see a close above 1993.50 today. What happens if you don't? Then yesterday's signal was a false move, and we're back inside that uh, profile that has support down at 1914 and the resistance level 1993.50. So that's another area for you to be watching today. So overall, what do we have here? We've got a definite confirmed top in the NQ for the daily time frame. The ES Mini is looking like it might actually generate that TD9 count. We won't know until tomorrow's close. The Dow needs a little bit of work, but it does have a – no, it doesn't have a – oh, wait, 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 wait. It does have a Wave 7 uh, pad that's in place out there. The Russell already has a top. Uh, it's just been uh, – it's already got us a top in place from back in uh, the uh, December uh, time frame out there. Okay, so that's what's going on with regard to the daily time frame for the equity future contract. Before we go to a quick breakout here, let's take a look at the ES Mini. Let's throw those charts up on our screen out here. What do we see at this stage of the game? You know, you've got a Roach Mintum indicator top on the two-hour time frame chart out here. What we've seen ever since that form is pretty much just a sideways move out here. So not a lot of traction, not a lot of sellers. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. The last comment I made, I believe, before we went to that uh, break out there was there were not a lot of sellers. That's right. Why aren't there a lot of sellers? Because there's a bunch of buyers internationally. If we take a look at the ES mini, you had a new all-time high in terms of British pound and yen as we speak right now. Yesterday, you made a new all-time high out there. So you've got buyers. Maybe you have sellers here in the U.S., but you've got buyers internationally. So we really need to understand how these instruments are trading in the major currencies out there. You made a new all-time high today in the NQ in uh, euros, in pounds, and in yen. And inside the uh, uh, Dow, you've done it inside of uh, Great British Pounds and yen at the moment out there. So you can't just think, or you can, you can do whatever you want to do. I'm suggesting that you don't just think in terms of how we here in this country are taking a look at the markets. we got to understand what's going on overseas out there. Okie dokie, off the soapbox and on to the request out there. The first one coming in from Duncan Steve. Let's change our panels. Let's get over to the ticker symbol SYM. Try to figure out what the general direction is of this instrument. We're going to take a look at it from multiple time frames out there, so it may have different messages for each of the time frames. So we take a look at SYM right now, trading out at 44.48. We take a look at the daily time frame chart out there. Yesterday's signal was a change in profile trend out there. Why? Because price closed above the top of its bearish structure daily profile. So symbotic uh, is likely to move higher. The higher would be its most recent swing point, which it just tested so far today. Now, that swing point is from January 23rd. That January 23rd swing point did 939,000 shares. You are at 546,000 shares already. So price is pushing to that swing point with volume, even if it rejects it. And by reject it, what I mean is close below the low. That low would be 44.80. We're trading right now at uh, 44.52. Even if we close below 44.80, price should still get back up there and at least test that. But it's moving into that swing point with volume. If it can close inside that swing point, then the high of that swing should be tested. And the high of that swing point, 
is at 46.73. That's where you'd really learn about the daily direction of uh, Simbotic because if price can take out that high, then it's signaling to you and I, Steve O. Oh, uh, yeah, that was Steve that put that in there. Uh, move up to 54.67. That's the daily time frame chart. We take a look at the weekly time frame chart. You're just consolidating with inside its profile. It's been trading sideways for four weeks out there. Maybe the uh, daily signal is telling us it's getting ready to break out. Now, for it to break out, it will go. The first target would be resistance, and that right now is the oscillator and change line because it's above where we're trading, and that's at 47.99. So we got that 46.97, 47.99 type level, and if price can take out 47.99, of course, as price rises, that number is going to change. It would increase, but if price can close above a green oscillator and change line on a weekly basis, that would tell us about a move back to 54.70. On a monthly time frame, good old-fashioned consolidation with inside its profile as well. So that really provide us with a ton of information. On an intraday chart out here, if we take a look at uh, Symbotic, we look at a 30-minute time frame chart, what do we see out here? All that we see is price ran into resistance at a TD9 count breakdown level at 45.84. I see an A to B equals CD pattern. I don't see a bearish reversal candle. So that's in place out there. But on a 30-minute basis, if it did generate a bearish reversal candle, that would generate a sell the D point pattern. That's the 30-minute time frame chart. Real quick, let's just see if there's anything going on on a 65-minute chart out there in the 65 minute chart shows that price ran into resistance at 45.68 that is a td9 count breakdown <coughs> excuse me td9 count breakdown resistance level so in order for the sim to get its mojo out there you need to see it close above 45.68 so we understand the intraday uh, charts out there we understand where price has found resistance um, and so uh, you are uh, you should be all set on this one steve -O, with regard to what sim bought it is communicating to you and I. At least I hope that you are, and if not, write back, and I'll uh, try to clarify that. Dan inside the Tigers, Dan, would like to take a look at ticker symbol PCT. So PCT right now is trading out at $4.09. It is going to complete a TD9 count top today, and it's doing it, Dan, at breakdown resistance at 408 on the daily time frame. The daily bottom was formed with a TD9 count and a Rhodes momentum indicator uh, bottom out there. What we should expect or anticipate here is that PCT, that is a pure cycle technologies, should pull back towards that 335, 329 area. That is the top of the daily profile and where the oscillator and change line is currently parked. On a weekly time frame, we have a consolidation with inside its profiles out there. That's between 270 at support and 432 as resistance. On a monthly time frame, price is trading below support, which is at 519 out there, and no confirmed bottom pattern as we speak. So PCT, it's got that TD9 count top. What's it doing on the short-term time frame charts? Are they indicating, are they confirming what we're seeing on a daily basis? Well, if we look at a 30-minute time frame chart, the answer to that question would have to be, let me pull this back a little bit further. The answer to that question would be, yes, you've got a sell the D point. Looks like probably a 1 to 1.618, A to B equals CD pattern. So you do have that on a 30-minute time frame. What you don't have is any closes below support. And that key initial support level out there, Dan, in order for PCT to tell us that the daily TD9 count is getting ready to kick in would be a close below 398. <laughs> We get a close below 398, <coughs> excuse me, 366 would be wide open. Let's take a look at a 65 minute time frame chart out here. Excuse me. Wow. Something in the throat chamber out there. Not great when you're speaking. We'll see what a little swig does to that. I don't have anything for you, Dan, on the 65 minute time frame chart out there. Uh, let's just take a look at a real short term chart, a 15 minute chart, TD9 cow top there. So the 15-minute time frame chart uh, tells you to watch 394. If you close below that, that's going to suggest lower price. So that's what we see. We take a look at PCT. Hope that uh, provided you with what you were looking for. John C. Inside the Tiger's Den wants to take a look at Micron. MU is a ticker symbol. So let's go ahead and punch that up on our screen. You got Micron right now consolidating with inside its daily profile. John, that's between the range of 8501 in support and resistance up at 8913. This has a Rhodes momentum indicator top, but it hasn't broken through key support, which would be that 8501 level. It's really led to kind of a sideways consolidation. So top on the daily, but just a consolidating pattern. 
on the weekly time frame chart. Wave number seven would be confirmed out there. It looks like it'll be confirmed if we don't take out last week's high. That would then suggest a pullback to support. In this case here, support would be 84.88. So the daily has supported 85.01. The weekly has supported 84.88. Obviously, that swig of water didn't work out that well. On a monthly time frame, Micron says, Stevie, says, John C., I don't know what you guys are talking about. I want to move higher. So that move higher says that over time it wants to get up to 9407 out there. Uh, that would certainly come to fruition on the daily time frame if price can close above its roadsman indicator top, and that's at 89.95. So close above 89.95 would get you to 9407. That's what I see when I take a look at Micron. So John, I hope that provided you with the information you were looking for as well. When we get back from this break, and yes, we're going to go to a break. And I'm going to try to swig a lot of water. <laughs> oh. What we're going to look at is Cell Cycorp. The ticker symbol there is CVM. Folks, take a look at it on your charts. Tell me what it's going to do. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back. 
Welcome back, uh, folks. We're take a look at uh, this is Cell Psi Corp ticker symbol here is CVM. What did you figure out during the break out there? I'll tell you what I see out here, a couple of different things. So one, uh, if we take a look at a swing point out here, uh, this is a swing point from November 15th. That did volume of 644,000 shares. That swing point was passed on the trading day of December 26th. A holiday should have been lighter volume, passed with 976,000 shares out there. So there is a very large confirmed A to B equals C to the upside that is still in place out here. And that one to one would take you up to four dollars. It's it's so large out here. I'm not going to go ahead and draw it in. It'd just be too complicated. But there is a confirmed A to B equals C D to the upside. Now that being said, we can see that, uh, uh, and we've seen here on this uh, on this latest pullback, the one that took us into the low on January 5th. You know that was a higher low out there. So the pattern is still somewhat in play. Now what's going on right now in the daily play-by-play -play out here is we've got price taking out where the sellers are located. You and I, we've got a, uh, a a a really competitive advantage out there versus others. You and I know with certainty that the sellers are lined up at $2.90. We don't know, just like any offense or defense, whether you're playing, uh, you know, football, and, uh, you know, you know what down it is, you know where the first uh, 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 down uh, uh, marker's at, you know where the end zone is at, you know what uh, defense is playing out there, uh, you know, you don't know whether you're going to be able to get past that defense or not. Well, the defense here in the stock market, at least for Cell Cycorp, CVM, the ticker symbol, is right up at 290 with regard to its daily time frame. We also know that on the weekly time frame, it's at 299 out there. So that's a resistance level, and price is trained above profile resistance on the monthly time frame. All right, so let's get back to it. What else do we know? You know, what we know is that uh, yesterday was a slightly lower high. Today, an even slightly lower high than yesterday out there. So we got those three things established. Looks to me like price wants to go target that 273 level. That's the oscillator and change line. If it can bust through that, it will have lost its upside momentum. That would suggest maybe it's going to pull back and test support at 241 out there. The weekly time frame chart has a, row, has a TD9 count top. Now, the TD9 count top, is led to nothing more right now than a consolidation with inside its profile. What we don't have out here, Dan, is any kind of real test of support just yet. One of those levels would have been, well, I, I mean, you know, I'm going to take that comment back. And the reason I'll take that comment back is because when I look at that profile, the weekly profile, that is, what we're looking at is a bullish structured profile. And that bullish structure runs between 217 and 252. So it's bullish in structure because at the bottom of the profile is where buyers are located. At the top of the profile, where sellers are located. The center is both combined. We're just going to call it equal, 50-50, with regard to buyers and sellers. That's where they believe there's fair value with inside that range. Well, if there's both buyers and sellers there, and that is closer in proximity to the bottom of the profile where the buyers are at, then we've got a bullish structure profile. The opposite would be true for a bearish structure profile. So price did pull back into its buy zone out there. So in one essence, it really has found some support. So that says we want to get up to 299, but you can't do that until you close above 290. I think I've been going on a long time about this 290 area. So let's get the heck off of that. Um, what else can I share with you about CVM? <clears throat> let's take a look again. Let's take a look at its dance steps out here. Damn, my dance steps, folks, what I'm referring to is consecutive moves higher, consecutive moves lower. Those are notated on this chart here. Red digits are consecutive moves lower. Green digits are consecutive moves higher out there. We can see that coming off of the bottom out here from January 5th, We've had a two-day rally, then a pullback, a two-day rally, three-day pullback, three-day moves to the upside. Now we are when we saw a two-day. So it would make sense that you've got a uh, at least a pullback today for your two-bar uh, move, two to three-bar move. So it looks like this should be getting ready to rally and take on that resistance level, uh, I, you know, tomorrow or the uh, next day. At least that's what it would appear to Stevie when we take a look at its dance moves out there. Again, folks, that was ticker sell side corp out there. Hope that that helped you out with regard to what at least the charts are communicating to my eyes out there. And as always, thank you so much for that request. I wrote in here, CBM potential catalyst in Europe is broad approval of their oncology treatment, which could come at any time. If it does, I expect an explosive multi-day move to the upside. Uh, perfect. Hey, thanks for that additional information out there, uh, Dan. And, uh, 
And, uh, and as always, thanks for the request out there. Next request coming in from LB. Lee wants to take a look at ticker symbol UEC. And UEC right now, it's trading out at uh, $7.53. Lee was asking for a buy point. Now, when you take a look at this chart here, folks, what would you have provided Lee as a potential buy point? Support. And support was at $7.30. $7.30 was tested four days ago, three days ago, yesterday, and almost tested this morning out there. So I think it's pretty safe to say that $7.30 is a very key level of support. Again, that being the bottom of that daily profile. So basically, on a date now, I don't have a bottom pattern out there. Well, I take that back. Let's look at that potential A to B equals CD pattern out here, because maybe what we actually have is a Gartley buy that confirmed yesterday. So the A to B point is going to look like that. Then you've got a one-day retracement. I'm just going to simply move that over. And voila, bang, bang, boom, bomb, whatever that means. This formed a Gartley buy pattern yesterday, Lee. So you've got your signal for an entry into UEC, Uranium Energy Corp., at least on the daily time frame. Now, your next level of resistance on a move higher is going to be at 770. Your price can take out 770. Then you've got to deal with its sell zone. So the resistance area is between 789 and 829 out there. We look at the weekly time frame chart. I see a wave number seven top out there that has pulled price back to support. That was a green oscillator and change line that says, OK, that Gartley buy pattern on the daily time frame makes all the sense in the world as a further move to the upside. Uh, the monthly chart uh, not seeing any kind of uh, any kind of topping confirmed topping pattern as we speak right now. That's suggesting that it too wants to move to the upside. So, Lee. What you've got is you've got that confirmed buy signal yesterday out there. You would put your stop below yesterday's low. Why? Because if you close below the bottom of a hammer candle, if you're long, basically you're wrong. And what that would say on uranium, uh, UEC, would that would then move down to the 628 level. That's not the message because you've got that confirmed Gartley buy pattern. Now, let's take a quick peek at some of the intraday charts out there. Nice Rosemont indicator bottom on a 60-minute time frame chart. So that's a beautiful thing to add to that bottom idea. Let's look at a 30-minute time frame chart for UEC. As we pull that up, also Rosemont indicator bottom out there. And price right now is above profile levels. 794. Looks like is next up. Uh, so you've got everything that you wanted out there. The daily uh, Gartley buy pattern confirmed by the intraday charts that also have some bottoming signals out there. LB, I think you have what you want out there. And thanks so much for that request. Um, Carvana. John C. would like to take a look at. If he likes to look at it, Stevie wants to take a look at it. CBNA is the uh, ticker symbol. So let's pull that up on our screen out here. It looks like it's trading at about 44.41. Uh, the daily time frame, what do I see? I don't see much. What I do see is price got back inside its profile yesterday. Uh, but what it's done so far today is tested and rejected that oscillator and change line at 45.39. So let's talk about Carvana. We get back to this break. Pan American Silver from the Shed Dweller. And, of course, folks, I'd love to hear from you as well. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're taking a look at this stock charts here for Carvana, CBNA. And uh, these charts, quite frankly, are throwing Stevie for a loop out there. And what I mean by that is uh, I'm having a difficult time interpreting what its real intent is at the moment out here, John. And here's the reason why. So if we take a look at, at the uh, move to the downside. I don't see any kind of a bottoming pattern. That doesn't mean it doesn't hasn't bottomed. It just means that Stevie doesn't have a bottoming pattern. And then you've got price that was trading below the bottom of its daily profile, got back inside it yesterday, back inside as we speak right now, but price finally resists at that oscillator and change line. I'm still trying to figure out why did price stop where it did out here? You know, January 26th, at, uh, January the 17th out there. Is there anything on a weekly chart that would identify support? And the answer there is no. Is there anything on the monthly chart that would tell me that there's support there? And the answer there is no as well. So that's what's got me just a tad bit of concern out here. Now, on the weekly time frame, you got price consolidating inside his profile. That's between 31.23 and 45.17 uh, out there. So we got price below the oscillator and change on the daily, on the weekly out here. Um, if price can close above that, that changes the view because when you trade above a green oscillator and change line, that tells you and I that the price oscillator is rising and it's above zero. Those are bullish conditions, period. Doesn't mean they can't be forming a top, but conditions would be a bullish out there. So we're somewhat, we don't have those bullish conditions right now, but price is also trading above support levels. And so I'm going to have to go with being agnostic when it comes to Carvana out there. Sorry about that, John, but that's as bad as, but I've shared with you the reasons why. And uh, so at least you can kind of get a, a take on that. So uh, thank you for the request, though. And uh, maybe uh, something will happen to the chart, such as a close above those green oscillator and change lines to then be able to uh, change our outlook on it. Let's go take a look at the uh, next request out there. That was take a look at Pan American Silver, P double A S out there. Um, no. <laughs> okay, so uh, as you take a look at Pan American Silver, the question is, what was the question? Uh, would you please take, that was just a, uh, I seem to have lost the question, but I know it was out there. So let's just go take a look at Pan American Silver. What is it doing? So on a daily time frame, this generated, it appears to me that it generated a buy the D point pattern when it formed that bullish reversal candle, that bullish engulfing back on January 22nd. Now, what price is doing today is testing support on a daily time frame. <coughs> 
in a shed. I'll just call you shed because you're the shed dweller out there. I know I've been a shed dweller myself. You know, you got to keep the uh, wife happy out there. In any event, uh, 1356 is your key level of support out there. That's the bottom of its daily profile. As price remains above it, that's good. Price is testing that swing point that formed that uh, buy the D point pattern. That was from January 22nd. Volume there was about 3.8 million, 2.8 to be exact. And today, so far, you're pulling back with 1.4. Now, we don't like that. The reason that we don't like that is because price is pulling back with a bit too much volume. So if price does close a day below 1390, what this is telling you, Shed, is that price should at least go test that low, that low being 1334. If it takes that low out, that could be a problem. Now, when I look at the weekly time frame, this has a Rogeman Dominicator bottom that formed in November, November 17th. That key low out there is going to be 1313. What was the low on this swing point? The low on that swing point was 1341. On a monthly time frame, price is pulling back into a swing point from November that had 69 million shares so far. You're at 61 on a daily basis. This does about oh, five. So today's the 30th, 31st, five, 61, 67, 70 or so, 70 coming into. Uh, so it's coming to that swing point with similar type volume. It's below that red oscillator and change line. So your question is, what is uh, Pan American Silver doing right now? The signal is, and if it closes below, again, the uh, uh, level of 1390, odds favor that price is going to go back and test that swing point low out there. It is holding support of the bottom of that profile. So I hope that that helps you out. Look, you got a weekly bottom, you got a daily bottom. You don't really have anything that I see here on the uh, monthly time frame. But that's what I see shed when you take a look at Pan American Silver, P-A-A-S is the ticker symbol. Uh, let's see here. Do we have a call? We do. We've got Robert in Kansas City. Robert, thank you for calling. Thank you for holding. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, Steve. Thanks for taking my call. My pleasure, as always. And you take a look at the uh, TLT. Uh, tell me what you're doing, how I could best help you and what you're looking for. Yeah. Uh, so I, I don't currently have a position in it, but it looks like it's forming the bottom. And I just wanted to get your, uh, see if you could do your analysis on it. Absolutely. So what I what I have thrown up on our screen, at least to begin with, is the 30-year uh, Treasury. And you are absolutely correct. It did form a bottom out there. The bottom that it formed was a TD9 count pattern. Uh, bar number eight was the low of that pattern. That was January 25th. It confirmed bar number nine the very next day. And uh, then uh, yesterday, uh, we're back inside the profile. Today, we are above the center of that bullish structured profile. So what the 30-year Treasury is doing right now is it is running right into resistance, Robert, and that's at its uh, green oscillator and change line. The price exactly is about 121.11. If price can close above 121.11, that's the 30-year Treasury, that would then tell me that it wants to go target the 123.03 level or maybe just a bit above that. And then that would be saying say to you and I that the TLT should rally. So before I switch over to the TLT charts, is there any question that you have about the daily 30-year Treasury chart that we're taking a look at? No. I'll go ahead with the TLT. Okay. So let's go switch over to the TLT, uh, see if it's got a similar type pattern out there. And uh, this is populating. And uh, this also has a TD9 count bottom. But right now, the TLT shows that price is trading just above that green oscillator and change line, which is price at 95.38. But, Robert, the real deal is going to be that underlying instrument, that 30-year Treasury. So ordinarily, I would say here, if I didn't look at the 30-year Treasury, I would tell you that this is basically in a bullish mode right now. And that bullish mode should take you up to the 97.27 level out there. Now, that, in fact, may come to fruition. But I would say that only comes to fruition if the 30-year Treasury closes above its green oscillator unchanged line. And I forget the price that I gave to you, but uh, hopefully you wrote that down. Now, on a weekly time frame, TLT formed a TD9 count top. It pulled back towards support. It closed below the bottom of its weekly profile for two consecutive weeks out there. But if it can get back inside that uh, this week and to get back inside that on the TLT, that would require a close above 83.60. Uh, hold on, let me make sure. A 95.10. I knew that wasn't looking right. 95.10. You need to see a close above that on a weekly basis. But, it, Robert, it's really all about the daily time frame, and it's really all about that daily 30-year uh, treasury. Any question about the TLT charts that I have on my screen? No. So, it's, you know, 
what this is going to determine is if this is really a counter trend bounce or rally and then it'll continue declining or if it's going to change direction. And it's, no one really knows that. But this, this is a good spot and for maybe a short term uh, intermediate type trade. Yes, I, that, I mean, that's a, that's an excellent analysis. That was actually better than the one that I gave to you, so thank you for that. Um, and, and we won't know if it's a count, just a counter-trend move uh, unless uh, price is able to close above that uh, week, uh, daily oscillator and change line again, which is about 121.11. If it closes above that, well, there's more counter to that trend to the upside, and that would be about the 123 level. All right, Robert? Great. Thanks, Steve. I appreciate your help. You bet. Thanks so much for speaking and giving us a call. That was Robert in Kansas City. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. Welcome back, folks. Let's close out the show by taking a Tesla and AMD. Tesla for Lars. Lars is looking to go short. Lars, when I take a look at that daily time frame. So you can see there's a confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside. If you look at the weekly chart, that gives you a price projection of 159.91 out there however there's a daily bottom it's called the td9 count that gap to the downside back on january 25th with some pretty good volume was actually the bar following bar number nine what we can see is that has been a bottom and what we see out here lars take a look at the uh, last three days out here what price has been unable to do really every ever since that day ever since that bottom price has been unable to get down to even test 
the low of the prior bar out there. But it has had no problem the last couple of days of taking out the prior bar's high. So you take out the prior bar's high. You don't even get down price-wise to the prior bar's low out there. Them's fight words as far as I'm concerned. So these bulls are not ready to give it up just yet. Now, maybe you take a look at going short around 200.79 or even better yet, if the rally can get you in the 202.70 to 206.48, that's really where a counter trend moves. So the counter trend move in Tesla, if that's what's going on, would be out at about 200.80 up to about 206.48 out there. I hope that that helps you out. So I'd be patient. And I'd watch those candlesticks. We continue to, if it continues to take out prior days highs out there, that's telling you something, something to pay attention to. If we take a look at AMD, uh, they're out with earnings tonight. Brent is asking the question, which way is this going to head? Look, on the daily time frame, it negated a TD9 count uh, topping pattern out there. It's trading them a profile and a screen oscillator and change line. That says I want to go north. The weekly chart is bullish. No topping pattern out there. The monthly chart is bullish. It took out this prior month out here, the swing point from back in November of 2021. That swing did 1.3 uh, million, 1.3 billion shares out there. You're at 1.7 as we speak right now. Brent, AMD, I can just tell you what the stock charts are telling you and I is it wants to head north. Let's check that out tomorrow morning. See if the stock charts were right. Folks, stay tuned. Got all this great programming lined up with you. Have a terrific Tuesday. I'll see you on wonderful Wednesday. Be safe out there. Take care.